This is the greatest tool ever, maybe. In terms of woodworking, I'm just kind of learning on a need-to-know basis. I came to it late. I'm a late bloomer. Uh, but I settled at 35 on this body of work. And this wood was from my native Florida, where I grew up. It seemed uh, also like painting somehow. Uh, it kind of has a a brush stroke or an exaggerated wood grain that is kind of like uh, paint mark, like it's already pre-decorated, pre-made. And uh, so this wood was very attractive to me. And uh, I like that idea of the kind of blown out trash wood being used for nostalgic or uh, worn out ideas in American culture. So the bus was gr is great symbol to me. I actually own a bus. Um, uh, parked in the driveway and the continual comparison between the real thing and the sculpture dragged it on and on and on because the sculpture had to live up to the real thing. My idea for this was um, the computers have come so far in my lifetime and the first computer I used was that Macintosh that I made which was the Mac 2 SE I think and they're basically dead, they're dinosaurs, they're fossils, they're records of where we were 20 years ago and this wood is kind of fossilized and old and dead and fungus eaten and so I paired those two uh, ideas together with that. In a way, the end effect of building a bike out of mesquite is funny because, uh, or a vehicle, it, because this stuff is so hard, it's probably the hardest thing I've ever seen, and the fact that these tubes or this actually exists as real steel in reality, and this wood is so hard uh, in reality. Um, it's an incredible pairing, like this kind of thing up here, where this is a uh, 3 8 inch uh, turned um, piece of bracing for the seat, the support piece. This is no trouble at all in mesquite, whereas other woods you would be worried that this heavy seat would be problematic here. This stuff's so strong, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. 